what's up everyone welcome back to the channel hope you had yourself a good weekend so far um i know it's been a few days since i uploaded a video besides the fitness videos on the channel the last one i uploaded was the suicide squad review if you have if you missed that one go ahead and check it out it is a spoiler review just to let you know um just been pretty busy kids started school we do homeschool so the days are busy um but i wanted to go ahead and give my thoughts on titan season three um it did premiere on hbo max few days ago and it was the first three episodes that were available to watch for the premiere so I did watch the first two seasons um, and overall I liked them there were some problems I had here and there but overall I thought they were pretty decent and I think this season has gotten off to a crazy start so far I probably will get into spoilers just so you know in case you haven't watched the first three episodes yet and you don't want to get spoiled spoiler alert um, because there's a very big event that happens in this opening of the season that I feel like is worth talking for in a spoiler way. So, um, like I said, this season's gotten off to a pretty crazy start for the most part. Um, I think it's going to be a good season. It's, I mean, it captured my interest. Red Hood, um, obviously is the villain for this season so far. We might have other villains along the way, I don't really know, but he's obviously the main villain. Um, I really want to know... <sighs> If I hope so, I don't think they would be able to continue this season without this, but I hope that they go back and show what happened to him when he became Red Hood. And I just want to see what story they go with. I want to know if they use the Lazarus Pit or what they're going to how they're going to how they're choosing to approach him becoming Red Hood after the Joker killed him um, in the opening of the of the season. So I say that because he's very like, I know he's Red Hood, but he's very ruthless so far in this. Like, I wonder, there's really not going to be a way to redeem him in if that's what they're trying, going to try to do towards the end of the season. Um, he's just really targeting the Titans in a way that I don't come up. I, I know that he kind of left, he separated from them at the end of the last season kind of on a bad note. But I don't see his, I still don't understand why he's completely targeting them, like, in a way to kill them. Um... I know he's the villain, and, you know, they're not watering him down, that's for sure. But I wonder, I just want to know why more he's actually going after them in a way that's not just to, like, mess with them or not just to cause problems and stuff like that. It's like he's trying to, like, kill them. And, I mean, spoiler alert, the end of the third episode, I really, they went there and I wasn't expecting them to go there. And if you've seen the, th the first three episodes... You know what I'm talking about. Hawk actually died. Like, I I just thought it was going to be one of those more predictable things when it's like, you know, they build the anticipation and, you know, they make it like it's, it builds that anxiety and you're like wondering what's going to happen, what's going to happen. You know, is Superboy going to build this mechanism that they need in time and is, you know, what's going to happen? Like, they're for sure going to save him. Like, it's going to come down to that last second and they're going to save him. But that's not what happened. And it was shocking and I get that's how it's supposed to be, but I honestly did not think that that was going to happen. I was sad because he's, I really, I think he's a really likable character and, you know, Alan Rickson played his character well and it was very, it's still early in the season, I feel like, for one of them to die. So that was pretty shocking to me. Especially, I think, when you have all three episodes, like, several episodes to watch back-to-back. -back. I watched all three of them back-to-back. -back. And when you watch them like that, it feels even soon earlier in the season because you're watching all of those. It's not just one episode this week and then the third week. Even, I think, if it was still one episode the first week and then second week and third week, at the third week, it would still feel early in the season for one of them to die. So I was pretty surprised that they went there that early in the season. Um... It kind of makes you wonder, like, are other members going to die? Are, I don't know. I was pretty surprised. That one shocked me, for sure. I was definitely shocked by that. I still think Brenton Thwaites is an excellent choice for Nightwing. It looked like his suit and his um, as his um, physical stature have beef are a little bit thicker this season. So I thought that was, I'm not, like, you know, just noticeable <laughs> from last season, in my opinion. His suit's really cool. It's cool to see him actually in, like, in the suit now because he, he got it at the end of the second season and that was like we just saw it briefly him in the Nightwing suit it looks like they probably upgraded it this season which they usually do for these kind of things 
Um, we have yet to see Raven and Wonder, you know, Wonder Girl. Um, so they're, she's probably gonna, it seems like they're working on bringing her back, um, Donna, because, you know, she died in the last season as well. So it seems like that's what they're working on for her. Starfire has some things going on with her that we have yet to, that it seems like is going to be explored um, during the season, and we know her sister's supposed to show up too. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I think some of the CGI, the quality of the CGI things could be improved, especially now that it's the third season. Like, first seasons, you kind of expect CGI not to be the greatest because the budget you expect to be lower. They're kind of just going to see how the show's going to do. They're not going to pour a ton of money into it. But now that they're on the third season and it's on HBO Max, um, I was hoping the CGI would be a little bit better. Some parts it looks okay. Um, like the super speed with, with when Superboy's using his super speed or like, you know, when the explosion happened, which was very BVS esque <laughs> if you saw that part when um hawk died at the end and superboy rushes in and there's explosion and the fires all around him and he's just like shocked by what happened um very bds you know what the explosion happens at the capitol building um but there's some good action scenes so far we do have a new character here and so we'll be seeing more of him and who he becomes but the cgi could be better and several of the of the cgi parts in my opinion um we'll see if maybe it gets some parts are not bad but you know i think by the third season it should be a little bit better than previous seasons so those are my overall thoughts for titan season three so far i am looking forward to the rest of the season um like i said i want to know i really want to see i want them to go back and show the process of jason todd becoming uh, Red Hood. I want to see that, which I don't think they will. I don't think they could not show that, um, but I'm looking forward to seeing that. Um, so as you, you know, on another note. Oh, and also speaking, since I'm moving on to a Batman topic, I'm not super crazy about the guy that has been playing Bruce, but you know, that's just my personal opinion. However, uh, make the Batfleck movie and Ben Affleck are trending again. And this tends to happen if, you know, a picture or Zack Snyder shares something. He did share a picture on Vero today, which I wanted to talk about really quickly. Um, shot on my phone October 23rd, 2013. Long time ago already. Happy birthday, Batman. Um, that's what he posted. So this is what he posted in honor of, you know, when Batman was birthed <laughs> into the comic book world. Um old picture i mean that's not a long time ago in some ways but for you know knowing how long ago ben started this whole thing as batman well it's been a while and so it's pretty cool i i personally like to i don't know why but i always think it's cool to see like batman without the cowl he doesn't even have the cape on in this picture um so it's pretty much just like the bodysuit but i always think it's cool to see batman without the cowl um, so I think it's cool to see pictures like that, but yeah, Zack shared that picture in black and white, um, as he tends to do, you know, in true Zack Snyder fashion. And also in, you know, the Snyder fandom and everything, of course, hashtag make the Batfleck movie, um, is trending. So that's not surprising, but, um, I, yeah, I just want to touch on that really quickly, but thank you guys for watching. Um, check out the links in the description. And thank you to those of you who have been supporting my the, the, the shorts, the YouTube shorts, my fitness videos. I have been enjoying uploading those recently. Um, so thank you for those of you that support those. And yeah, thanks to those of you who support the channel. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Tell me what you thought of the uh, first couple episodes of Titans Season 3 if you've watched them. And yeah, thanks for watching. I'll <laughs> see you next time.